Are you ready to buy or sell a home? Are you thinking about renting an apartment? Today, we are going to discuss the importance of understanding the relationship that you have with your real estate agent. These relationships are not always the same from transaction to transaction. So as a member of the public, you need to understand your relationship. The sale or purchase of a home involves one of the largest investments that a person undertakes during their lifetime. It can be complex, confusing, and an intimidating process for any person to handle on their own. Even though you're not required to hire a broker, you might want to consider hiring one. A licensed real estate professional can assist you by explaining the process and making you more comfortable. By using their knowledge and expertise, a broker can make sure the transaction goes smoothly. But do you understand what your real estate agent does? As used in this presentation, it is helpful to define a few terms early. A broker is a Colorado real estate licensee that buys and or sells and or leases real estate for others. A brokerage is a Colorado real estate company which is comprised of one or more brokers. A licensee is another term that can be used for a broker. A licensee is a real estate broker licensed by the Colorado Division of Real Estate. Finally. A Realtor is a real estate licensee that is a member of the National Association of Realtors or a local Realtor Association. It is important to understand that Realtors and licensees are not the same thing. Not all licensees are Realtors. In Colorado, a licensee can represent you as a single agent or as a transaction broker. As we will discuss today, these relationships are different. Under one agreement, your broker might owe you specific duties, while under another agreement, your broker might not owe you those same duties. But to begin with, you should discuss with your broker what you expect and what you need in your transaction. This understanding should be reduced to an agreement with the broker setting forth the services that the broker will provide to you and the compensation to be paid to the broker for the services rendered. The best way to understand the relationship of a single agent in Colorado is to think of your broker as a coach. When you are on a team, your coach instructs you, advocates for you, and promotes what is in your best interests. A single agent relationship creates duties and responsibilities. Your broker must protect your confidential information. Equally important, your broker must act as a fiduciary for you. By law, your broker must work in your best interests. A transaction broker relationship is different than a single agent relationship. Instead of acting like a coach, a transaction broker is more like the referee in a sporting event. The transaction broker does not advocate for you, but instead is required to act as a neutral party. In other words, they help move a transaction from beginning to end. Transaction brokers do not have a fiduciary duty to protect your interests. As a Colorado consumer, you need to know that the default relationship between you and the licensee is a transaction broker relationship, unless you agree otherwise. If you have questions, you should consult a licensed Colorado attorney. During your transaction, it is common for brokers to present a document to you which is designed to explain the relationships discussed in this presentation. The document is called the Definitions of Working Relationships. It is important for you to read this document, understand it, and ask any questions that you may have. If you have questions for your broker, put them in writing and ensure that your questions are answered in writing. Thank you for taking a few minutes to understand the different relationships that you can have with your real estate broker. For more information, visit the Colorado Division of Real Estate website at www.dre.colorado.gov.